Hello and welcome to an ACOR Orthopedic Educational Tutorial. My name is Ross Marty and I am Director of Clinical Education for ACOR and I will be your instructor for this series. In this segment, we'll be covering casting for custom molded gauntlets. For this casting method, we're going to need a cotton stockinette uh, about 12-14 inches long, cast saw, cutting strip, our casting block with plastic bag, of course some gloves on your hand, indelible pencil, and two rolls of uh, fiberglass tape. This is Delta Light, this one I like, and then of course warm water uh, in a bucket. Alright, so we start by putting the casting sock or the, the sock here, cotton stocking it on, and we're going to want to put the cutting strip down straight down the shin bone to the toes. All right, set on the casting block in a 90 90 position, 90 degrees at the ankle, 90 degrees at the knee, and if you want, you can mark the highlights on the stocking net. And for this, I'm going to mark medial lateral malleolus first and fifth metatarsal head. All right, from there, it's pretty simple. We're going to use fiberglass tape. Just get it wet real quick. And most of the water out. And have the patient bring the foot forward to you. For this, we're doing a gauntlet. We need an 8 inch cast, so we need to go about 8 inches high here, but we don't need the toes, so you don't have to worry too much about capsuling the toes, unless you're doing a full length gauntlet, which you're probably not going to do. Once you get the heel encapsulated, just stir it up the leg. Double wrap at the top. And then head the way down. Alright, for this one we only needed one roll, and that's going to be just fine. Set it in position, back at 90-90. For this particular cast method, you really want to get your hands soaked wet. That makes the material set off quicker. Massage in the arch. Massage in there well. Make sure my cutting strip is still in place. This is very similar to taking a having a cast. So if ever if you ever had a cast before, it's a very similar principle. It takes a few minutes for this to set off. Once it starts setting off, you tap with your pencil. This down here is set up pretty good. Up here is still a little soft. Just a few more moments. All right, looks like it's pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and cut it off. And the casting saw, the blade does not circle, it goes back and forth. 
so it's very difficult to cut skin with it, but you can. So that's why I like to have the cutting strip here. Just follow the cutting strip down. If you're not real sure where it's at, just mark on either end of the cutting strip right in the center, and then you can just draw a line straight down, connect the two, and that's where the cutting strip is going to be. Okay, here we go. We're going to cut it off. Alright, the cutting saw doesn't like to cut the cotton stock and that's so you're going to have to catch that with the scissors. I didn't want to cut the top here. Sure that you put it back together. Use some rubber bands to hold it for shipment, and that is your finished product. For more information on what you have seen here today, or to watch another ACOR educational tutorial, visit us at www.acor.com. Thanks for watching, and good day.